this dating app review, I'm going to be covering Raya, including what it is, how to use it, hey. how to get on it, profile examples, and whether or not Raya is worth it. By the way, my name is Blaine. Like you I'm wouldn't see a woman like this in West Virginia. I mean, you just wouldn't. Okay. Like it's impossible. Uh, maybe she's all right. What do y'all think? No, about? I mean, I'm not saying she's the, the most gorgeous woman to ever walk the face of the earth, but I'm talking about like her bubbly or glow or like oh, her cleanly. Her just... Those chicks, they chicks beating down. Everybody was beaten down. They didn't have a, a glow. They didn't have a. I'm a dating coach for men and welcome to my channel. So what is Raya? Raya is an exclusive dating app that was started in 2015. You can think of it as the Soho house of dating apps. Not just anybody can join. In fact, the New York Times described it as the Illuminati of dating apps. It definitely has buzz around it, which is probably why you're bothering to watch this review. It's also exclusive. Like I mentioned a moment ago, not just anybody can join Raya. You have to be referred by a current member. And even then, once you apply, you may or may not be approved, which we'll talk more about later. Also, celebrities dig it. Folks like Cara Delevingne, Kelly Osbourne, Demi Lovato, and Chelsea Handler have all been spotted on Raya. Functionally, Raya is that different. You can tell she got a gap, man. I'm, pause. I mean, I'm just, I had to say that. You could tell she got a gap. You know what I'm talking about? You just tell by the way. Different than any of the other dating yeah. apps like Hinge, Bumble, or Tinder, but it does have a few unique features, which we'll get into next. So, how does Raya work? Once you've been accepted to Raya, you are going to create a photo centric profile, which I'll talk more about in a second. You are going to swipe on potential matches in a single file queue. So, matches will come up one at a time. You will swipe left on map people you don't want to match with, and you will swipe right on people you are interested in matching with. If you swipe right on somebody and they also swipe right on you, then it's a match. You're then able to start conversations and chat via text within the app. Like so you, you can't would... talk unless you match. So he had to have swiped on her too. It had to be mutual. Right? Yeah, that's how all of them are mainly, right? Okay. Karen should have done this ad. <laughs> mm. Wow. So yeah, man. Listen, man. This, this shit is. This is for. This is for rich people. Their profiles, assuming you have both opted into location-based browsing. There's also a directory, so you can actually search for other Raya members based on location, profession, interest, or basically anything else you might want to know. There is also pay to play DMs, so you can send a message to a potential match before you actually met. It's funny, sisters will be like, she got on weave too, but she got on weave of her hair texture. Like, it's she's hard not, yeah. yeah, she's wearing uh, weave hair that extensions. matches her natural hair. Like, the, the, the equivalent of her wearing weave, like the sister would be if she had on an Afro weave. <laughs> <laughs> right. That would be the equivalent, man. I'm tired of sister saying that. We ain't the only ones that wear weeds. White women wear weeds too. Yeah, but you know, it's different, man. It's Even different. on her, I say that shit's still uncalled for, though, man. Fuck. Different, man. Match. Essentially, a premium way to shoot your shot. Ultimately, though, what makes Raya special is who uses it. When I opened the profile to refresh my memory and create this video, the first two profiles I saw were a professional tennis player and an actor I recognized from TV. Basically, the people using Raya are different from the people using less exclusive apps. Yeah, Another brilliant. interesting feature that I haven't seen on many other apps except maybe Bumble BFF is that Raya does have a here for friends category. So when I re-downloaded the app and fired up my profile, now that I'm not single, I was able to go into friends mode and see people who are also looking to make friends. Now for the most frequently asked question I get, how does one get on Raya? To obtain a Raya membership, typically a current member must invite you to join. But that said, I know plenty of people who have had multiple referrals from current members and still don't get approved. If you don't get approved, you don't get a rejection notice, but your application just essentially sits in limbo and you're on the wait list. 
Here's what my referral queue looks like if you're curious. And please don't ask me for a Rio referral. I only give them to good friends and a very select group of clients. So if you're wondering who gets a- Yeah, man, because listen, if you Simone Biles, man, you can't be on no regular dating site. Some nigga be like, Simone Biles, you know, clout. Everybody want clout so much. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. you, you you can't really mm -hmm. fuck no regular guy if you Simone Biles. Wouldn't they rob her? Not even oh, that. Man. It'd just be it just that's that's a that's a that's a possibility. But I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about just like if you're Simone Biles, you have to you're a gymnast, so you 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 um work out every day, hours and hours every day. You know, even though she got natural ability, she still works out 10 hours a day or runs and tumbles and all that stuff 10 hours a day to, to, to maintain her advantage and she eats a certain diet like she don't just eat anything all the time she might eat some stuff sometimes but most of the time she right shakes and um certain type of you know food for her dietitian you know you know makes for her or whatever and she got a schedule like she gotta be places at certain times she got to show up at certain events. You know what I'm saying? You can't just date no rando. You got to date somebody who go through that too, to some degree, right? That's a great point, Ak. I think you're really on the, on the money there. That's true. People's lifestyles can be very intense and unique, and they would want someone with a similar one. That's totally yeah. valid. And, and listen, don't get me wrong. She could fucking fall in love with the gardener. Or the fucking guy who trims her bushes. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say that. But if she's she's proactively looking for somebody, she's gonna she can't just be out there, you know what I'm saying, doing anything. It's approved for Raya. Raya's website says it values people who bring creativity. And the application criteria are your work. Essentially, do you do something interesting and creative? Familiarity. AKA, do you know other people who are on the app? They assess this through your Instagram handle. Do you have mutual friends with people on the app? Are people referring you? And a little something extra. What are the special qualities that you bring to the table as a Raya member? I've touched a lot on the referral process, but you don't actually have to have a referral to apply. You can absolutely just apply and see what happens. I wouldn't hold your breath though, because I personally don't know of anybody getting on to Raya without having a referral. And like I touched on before, I am familiar with many people who had multiple referrals and still ended up on the wait list. If your Raya application isn't improved and you're in the pending or wait list stage, be patient. You can absolutely get approved even multiple months later. So at this point, you might be wondering, so who does get accepted to Raya? From what I've observed- NFL players and Olympians, probably actors. You probably got to be, like him being in the NFL probably helped him out a lot because they can verify that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just call the team and shit. Like, do this nigga play for y'all? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. Or somebody knows of him or he's got a profile online somewhere. I've observed it's a lot of the influencer types, either actual or aspiring. This isn't a dunk on Raya or its members. I've absolutely connected with cool and interesting people there. It's just that from what I have observed, the tie that connects the Raya community seems to be more about if you have a curated social media and who you know, rather than actual creativity. So are there any true requirements that you must meet? I read a Raya review on Vita Select that said you must have 5,000 Instagram followers in order to be approved, but this is blatantly not true. I know plenty of people with less than 5,000 followers currently on Raya, and when I applied to Raya a number of years ago, I had way less than 5,000 followers. Still, the sentiment is directionally correct. There tend to be a lot of Instagram influencers and aspiring influencers on Raya. Wow, influencers. So that's a, these are the new celebrities for this age, influencers. And aspiring yeah. influencers. Yeah, so struggling no actors one. and shit. 
listen, man, when I be looking at some of these IG models on here, man, they, they be randos. They be having like a million fucking followers on Instagram. And it's like nobody, I know nobody know this bra. Nobody would know this bra when they saw our bubble. And it's like, yo. So like these people are making, and they, they make money from ads. Once you get that many companies will pay you to put ads on your on your Instagram page because it gets a lot of traffic and shit. They make it can make twenty thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars, five thousand dollars for making a post with the product in it. You can absolutely get approved even multiple months later. So plenty of people with less than five thousand followers currently on Raya. There's unlimited travel plans and unlimited likes. The Raya Plus membership costs about $350 a year if you pay annually. If you're going to pony up the extra cash for the Raya Plus membership, the most important differences are that you are going to be able to see who likes you and that you're just going to get more recommendations daily, which means more opportunities to match. In my opinion, Raya is actually a great deal. For context, Hinge charges about $35 a month right now for its premium membership, which allows you to swipe on standout users, which is essentially the most attractive people on the app. Is Raya worth it? In my opinion, Raya is 100% worth it, assuming you can get in. This is in part because Raya most definitely has the highest concentration of physically attractive people. And I know people who have found both hookups and serious relationships on Raya. Plus, the price is right. We touched on this. Damn. So, yeah, man. So, Mo did everything right to me. She she, she wasn't out there just being with regularly reckless on Twitter and shit, demon niggas on Instagram and shit. She went through this site. Black women, are, she, 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 she saw a dude she liked. She reached out to him. He proposed to her. She didn't propose to him. He proposed to her. They got married. There's no baby mamas, no side chicks, no sneaky links, no nothing, no gay rumors, nothing. And they're still dragging them online. If you were a professional athlete the or any kind of famous person, Raya would make your life so much easier. Exactly. Like it would be so, yeah, it would be a cakewalk. Man, I would be on there too, man. If I was single, man, I'd be like, I'm a YouTuber, man. I got 40,000 subs, man. Be like, uh, <laughs> so we gonna get back to you, man. Don't, don't call us, man. You need, need a referral. <laughs> hey, man. What's up, Marcy, man? What's your thoughts on this, man? I I agree. I think Simone went through it right. She she used, she used the right method to find somebody um, instead of doing the you know the standard going on these going on these other sites where it's not as exclusive and you'll more likely find someone who is you know not going to be a good fit for you. Or he's gonna bring a bunch of bad press um, in your life. So I think she did. They should did it. Um, did it the right way. I mean, it paid off. You know, she got Jonathan Owens. So that's something. Yeah, she it it it, it worked out. Like where the 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 narrative is is online of black YouTube or black X whatever they call it. The 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 narrative online is that something bad is taking place. Well, they don't. They're all miserable. <laughs> the, 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 you know, the, the, all of the all the news that you find on black, you know, black Twitter or black, you know, all this that. No, there's always negative. There's always something bad. There's always something that's depressing. There's always something that gets you down. And that's and they, and they can't stand to see someone who's actually enjoying enjoying her lot in life. She finds yeah. she, she found a good. She found someone who's good for her. Yeah, man. And and, and listen, man. As a guy, when the chick loves you, your dirty draws, even just a little <laughs> bit more than you love her, even if it's just a little bit, it better, it works out, but everybody's happy. The relationship is not going to last long if you like her more. And nobody's going to be happy because the relationship is going to be over. She has to like you more. 
Uh, uh, Chris Rock said that yeah, when you like somebody, you don't have to like just the pie. I like the crust and the crumbs that fall off the edge of the pie. Yeah, like everything about them, and be appreciated. Yeah. Pre- and appreciate it. I mean, look at this picture. She, she the way she's looking at him. This, this is a subreddit. Ooh, every like, this picture. Is, yeah, this is this, this is a subreddit <laughs> called My. This is a subreddit called Myron, and it's all it's all basic pictures of women looking at their guys the exact same way. And that's as I can tell, she is in she is <laughs> she is enthralled with this guy, and she loves him. And yeah, that's great. And it's, like, and it's like, yo, like they always go on places dressing up together and shit. <laughs> Do it look like they black women is acting like he's being hijacked or some shit. He only doing this because like, yo, man, this is fucking wife, my nigga. Like, this is his wife. This ain't like his girlfriend. At a whole time. Are they acting like they, they literally act like oh he just he just trying to it's a come up. They starting to say that this is a come up. He just he just getting with her for a few years and then once he get his name out there, he gonna leave her. I'm like, what he's a gold what? digger in the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why are they saying these things, man? It's it, it's just so it's just so annoying, man. Like that's does it look like this son man is not happy? <laughs> it looked like he like he just like man shit man I gotta do this shit for another year till I get such and such followers then I'm out man like it it <laughs> 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 I think they just jealous because they happen, think this guy, they think this they think this guy's handsome. They think this guy looks good and they're jealous. They're jealous. They're they're jealous, jealous, jealous. Judge Jerry Hines, man, what's your thoughts, man? Uh, hi guys. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, we can hear you. A little echo, but you're good. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I think you're right. These women are just jealous. I, I man, there's something wrong with our mind. I, I got an uncle, right? This man had a whole heap of women, whole heap of children, and all the women in my family look up to him. Like if he did something good. Yeah. Yeah. Look, the whole family son. system is off. Yeah, the sons, there's some women, some women, like, listen, man, the thug and the, the, the hoodlum, the, the wayward, um, can't get right. Um, you know, dude is like he that he gets more favor than this guy. He's a, even though he looks the same. You can't if you told me he was a rapper, I would be like, all right, well, yeah, I believe he looked just like any rapper. But he's a academic um, um, student athlete of the year. He's um, he called him. He says he's a nerd. He's um. Workout warrior, no drugs, no baby mamas, no side chicks. Hey, I, man, listen, man. I'm going to tell you something unique about black women beyond all other women in the world, right? You will find that females will seek out the most desirable male, the most responsible, the most stable, all that good stuff, right? But black women go against the norm of every other female. <laughs> I, I can't think of any other race of women that will look for the worst guy in the town, right, and have children with him. No, no yeah, other race exactly. of women does this. Bizarre man. He's crying at the wedding. He's crying. He's up there crying. What they say saying the vows, and these bitches is talking about he don't he he because he said he was the because he said men are the prize. He didn't even say he's the men are the prize. Listen. Men all the prize. Look at her. Look, she, look you know her. what the biggest joke is? I tell you, man, if she got rid of him next week, every one of those bitches going after her now right, would be on his doorstep in his DMs. <laughs> every one of them. Every one of them. No, he would be, yo, he would be, he would be the most pursued man on the planet. Literally. Literally. It's, it's going to be worse now, man. He's going to be super pursued now. Aok, they, they want to break that spell. They want to be the woman that did it. Aok, did she did she receive the same treatment as Gabby Douglas about her appearance? 
Her hair, yes. Yeah, they yeah, fried yeah, her hair. hair that's, that's probably what it is. I think that's, I think that's also part of it. She, how can someone look as good looking as him be with someone as I guess quote unquote plain as her? And they, and I think that's, I think that's what yeah. drive them drive them off the wall as well. Somebody said this the other day. She has the girl next door look, and yeah, she definitely has. She she she's not like drop dead gorgeous, but she's cute like. Nia yeah, Long and um and Boys in the Hood. Remember Nia Long and Boys in the Hood? Oh, yeah. yeah, I love Nia Long. <laughs> she like she like good. She cute like that. Where she ain't like no fucking um. Don't get me wrong. She ain't like beautiful, but she's cute. And listen, man, that nigga met her. Listen, I know people who met their baby, met their um um. Their husbands at Home Depot. So when I was at Home Depot, I met my wife at um on the floor, on the sales floor. Um, my boy, I ain't gonna say the name, but he, he about five of us met our wives that we are married to, either um common law married or married to now. In my department, I'm not talking about the whole store. I'm talking about five dudes that worked in lumber and building material with me met their wives on the sales floor. Not big bras that worked there, but the chicks that came in chance encounters. Five of us. And, and, and we started to notice, man, that women would come in the Home Depot to meet guys, but they would do it in the slickest way. So they would just come in and think about it. When you're in, when you're a woman in Home Depot, not only is the dudes going to add, but the plumber or the electrician who's there all the time, <laughs> you know, he going. You need some help? Like we will always go to the women, and we would be like, "Oh shit, I got it." And we would be like, you know, if that was fine, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying sometimes we'd be like racing to get over there. And dudes met plenty of girls. They smashed and shit on the sales floor but what i'm saying is that like niggas five of us met our wives on the sales floor at home depot because women oh, come in there they don't know where anything is at they don't know how anything works they don't know what anything does even if you when you sell it to them and they get home they don't know how to fucking even take it out the box let alone put it together or make it or apply it so Oh, I can come by and um hook that up for you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I can put that together. Oh, it's a you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, you talking about like these girls, and that's a good way to meet your a lot of these chicks meet their baby daddies, not their husbands, because they ain't got no husbands. A lot of these chicks meet their baby daddies on like the go-go to club, some nigga at the mall. Try to holler at them. They homegirl's cousin and shit. <laughs> Girl, your cousin cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Um, um, the, the, a plus one. Their boyfriend um came over. He got a friend, and they he like a friend like you. You got some friends. And she like, oh, all right, let me call somebody. And then the, the girl come over. And now they got kids and shit together and shit just off of that. This is his mother. His his mother, his, his dad, I don't think his dad was in his life, but his mother remarried and the stepfather was just killed in an armed robbery in St. Louis. Oh, man. Oof. Damn. Yeah. Man. So it's like they still they they still he going through you know what I'm saying he talked about that in the interview nobody said anything about that um nobody said anything about that stepfather some fucking sun turd smoked his stepfather and as his stepfather was the one who um was influential in his life because his father wasn't was it um he wasn't raised with his father. On a side note, uh, how long do you think the marriage is going to last? They're both high-profile celebrities, time. athletes. A long time. A long time. A long yeah, time. I got faith. 
I got a bit of faith in this man. In this this shit that these, <laughs> the shit that these hoes is doing would work. Yes, if he was some nigga that had a bunch of side shit. Like, for instance, if this happened and some random video Kim Kardashian looking whore came out, I was like, yeah, he texted me last week. Or you know what I'm saying? None of that's happening. You Give get what I'm time. saying? <laughs> Give it time, man. Someone's gonna do something. <laughs> well, unless you think it's like uh, this. You think this guy's like Russell Wilson, kind of like a stand-up guy? I don't know. I think I think he is, man. I think I just from from what, just from what I um, what I what I learned about him from that interview. The rest of the interview, you know, said the part that nobody else, the other ninety nine percent that nobody cared about. Um, and in her, she was a crack baby. That's why she's so small. She's a crack baby. Her parents were on drugs. Both her parents was on drugs, and they, um, the grandparents raised her. She was raised. She was adopted by her grandparents, and they raised her. Her brother. Like I think he got off though, but he was like uh, charged committed triple, a triple murder. murder. But he beat it though. He beat it. So who knows? You know, he beat it. Even though I I I I studied that case when it happened. I think I did some videos on it. But um, it it looked like he just beat it. It don't look like he didn't do it, but he beat it. Um, Mother of Olympic gymnast Simone Biles charged in connection with a triple murder. The 24-year-old was arrested at an army base in Georgia. He's active military. He's accused of opening fire after an argument broke out inside this Airbnb rental in Cleveland. Three young people were gunned down. Somebody just got shot at a party. Somebody just got shot at a party? Two people did. Is there any serious bleeding? They're, they're, they're both dead. The third person shot died later at the hospital. It happened on New Year's Eve, but the arrest was just made after an eight-month investigation. In a cryptic tweet last night, Simone wrote, eating my feelings, don't talk to me. On Friday, USA Gymnastics issued a statement. In this challenging time for Simone Biles and her family, USA Gymnastics offers our continued support. This is a very personal and private situation for the Biles family. I mean, you can't escape the crime. And black <laughs> black stand is like, yo, everybody, everybody gets, you know what I'm saying, gets it, man. It's crazy. Um her son Delvante, Simonium in court as Simone Biles' brother is cleared in a triple murder case. See, they know he did it. The streets, you know what I'm saying? The streets, the streets what know the he did going it. On? <laughs> but he beat it. You did what I'm saying? Oh, so like, she like, was rushing them. This, this is the family numbers, yeah. yeah. Like, like you know, else you know, like yeah. you can beat a murder right. easier than you can beat even a robbery or shoplifting. <laughs> yeah, you can beat a murder because it's so the, the preponderance of evidence is 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 so high. Pandemonium in court as Simone Biles' brother they know he's he cleared this. in a triple murder case. A slain victim's mother lunged at Simone's brother. There he is, sitting at the defendant's table. Simone's brother was charged following a shootout at a New Year's Eve party in Ohio in 2018. Somebody just got shot at a party at where? Somebody just got shot at a party? Two people did. Is there any serious bleeding? They're, they're, they're both dead. The third victim was pronounced dead at the hospital. Simone's brother's first trial ended in a mistrial. Now a judge. So he had multiple trials. Like, you know what I'm saying? Exhausting the criminal justice system. And that's another thing that some men got a benefit about, too. Like, yo, America will let you have, like, if you found guilty, like, even if you was found guilty, Glider Society will let you, nah, nah throw that down. Nah, I want I want another trial. You all new people, new judge, new jury, and I want a new lawyer, and, and y'all pay for it, and you give me another trial. And you can do that up to, what, three times on the appeals you get? Whatever, but I don't know. At least two. I think maybe up to two. Yeah, but you, that's a that's a great, you know, what I'm saying? like yeah, that's a long time. That's an awesome thing that um, Gladys society and I, like we talk all the time. It was the system wasn't built for this. You dig what I'm saying? 
Yeah, I've always I've always fallen back on that point whenever I see the pretty much any sun crime, especially when they get off. It wasn't built for, um, you know, five hundred murders in a city in one year. The five hundred deaths. And it wasn't built for a whole party of people who probably all said nothing. Exactly. It wasn't built, it wasn't built for amoral people. Exactly. Exactly. The hospital. Simone's brother's like, first. I I know a lot, several of the people that I talked about that I know that got murdered. Everyone knows who did that shit. I'm talking about, I know people that were murdered with a person who did it never went to trial never got arrested and interrogated for it yep you know what i'm saying yep. and, and 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 walks around the community to this like day. with his shit up yeah. shoulders back to this like day. He's somebody to this day okay and everybody knows he did that shit First trial ended in a mistrial. Now a judge has dismissed the case for lack of evidence, triggering the mom's rage. And my heart goes out to the families of the victims. We're in recess. She know he did it too. You know what I'm saying? But they ain't got enough. They can't, my wife probably came full. And niggas will talk about it in the hood or in the community and won't tell the police. Like, it's not some big secret. Like, everybody, or like, people will talk about it freely, but won't, but the police need you to get on the stand and, you know what I'm saying? Or right. give a statement. Wow. Yeah. We, me and Oz could be like, damn, that's fucked up. Rob killed fucking Junebug, man. It's fucked up like shit, man. And somebody else could walk in the room. Y'all heard what happened? Yeah, yeah, we know Rob killed too, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And it's like, but they need one of us to go. <laughs> to the <laughs> hey, uh, if you look at the judge's face as the, the sun woman lunges forward, she, she doesn't react at all. I think with the heinous circumstances, she actually expected a reaction like that. Like she's re This must have been really difficult for her. Yeah, I, I think that sh a lot of times judges, when they got to let people go for technicalities and or, um, you know what I'm saying, they know the person did it, but they they the evidence, not enough evidence or whatever, or the DA fucked up something, the DA, some inadmissible evidence was was given or some shit, procedural shit. I'm sure that, like, they fucking hate that shit because the next trial... When they, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times it's, they don't free the person for that. It's just a mistrial. She not gonna be the judge at the next trial. So like, it's it's she done with it. She off to her next case. We spoke to Brandy Johnson, the grieving mom who charged at Biles. Her son Delvante was killed in the shooting. Do you believe that the celebrity of Tevin Biles's sister, Simone Biles, had something to do with the judge's decision? Yes, I do. There was so much evidence um, that the prosecutor would bring up that she shooed away, that wasn't able to be let in. The judge's decision comes as the gymnastics legend prepares for the Tokyo Olympics next month. Just three weeks ago, she became the first Remember woman. Remember, she had the mental health crisis at that time. Who remembers that? Yeah, 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 I remember. Yeah, yeah. You never know what somebody's going through. You know what I'm saying? Especially if they black. Except Legend Angel Reed. Prepares for the Tokyo Who Olympics next the month. Defense. Just three weeks ago, she became the first woman to successfully land the Yurchenko double pike in competition. Lawyer Joseph Patitus represents Simone's brother. Tevin is very proud of his sister. I mean, they he's he's been aware of what's going on with her. And unfortunately, her name, I mean, Simone Biles, she has nothing to do with this case. And she never had anything to do with this case. And unfortunately, 
you know, her name was dragged into a situation that had nothing to do with her. Tough, man. It's tough being the son, man. Shit. Mm, mm, mm. Hello. It's Cleveland 911. Somebody's calling the police. <laughs> yeah, but he, he's like, no, no. I need to. Okay. Ma'am, do you need the please? Hello, hello. It's clean, please. What's going on? Hello. Somebody just got shot at a party or where? Somebody just got shot at a party? Two people did. What's the address? Um, the address. The address. The address. What's the address? I, I don't know what the address is, but I know okay. it's Dennis Avenue. Okay. I need you to go outside and look at the address. I need to get you the help. Can you repeat that, please? I need you to go outside and get me an address. Go look at the house on Dennis and tell me where you're at. Now, the people that are shot, where are they at? They're, they're dead on the floor. Okay, can you tell me who shot them? Oh, uh, I don't know. All right. It's like, gonna... a, it's like an argument broke out and then you know, somebody just started shooting. Did you see who was shooting? No. All right, I'm going to connect you to. Listen, listen, I need to connect you to the ambulance. They're going to have some instructions for you. Don't hang up. Okay. Who's the name of? What's the address to the emergency? Okay, all right. Um, I'm at the party and it's two. And you're where? I said I'm at a party and it's just two people that just got shot. Okay, I need an address. Okay, tell me exactly what happened. You said two people got shot? Yes, Um, I guess the argument broke out or whatever at a party. Now I see why he don't cheat, man. That nigga, he ain't crazy, man. Jonathan Owens ain't crazy. He said, she ain't she no her, man. Salute <laughs> Salute to Luigi B, man. Salute to um, Karen Vukalich, man. She's a... Oh, no. Salute to... Um, yeah, salute to Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Hines. Support the channel, Acolytes. Yeah, man, support the channel, Acolytes. Hey, he's also a half-brother, too. Oh, he's half brother. This is Miles Thomas. Oh, he I don't know, man. That could be the people he got adopted because they both got adopted by different people. Like he, he oh, went okay. somewhere else, and she went somewhere else because they both got they, they 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 their parents was on drugs and they couldn't take they they didn't feed her when she was young. They didn't feed her, so in her developmental years, she was she didn't get the proper diet. That's why she's so small. And literally next to you know they just started shooting. Okay, are you next to the people or are you just or did you, uh, can I you can, see them? No, I can I can see them clearly. You can see them. Okay, and it's two people? Yes, it's two um African American males. Okay. Hold on just a moment. He said that Okay, sir. Is a assailant, is a assailant still nearby? The person that shot? And she got molested by Larry Nassar. Multiple times. Hey, has Rape. he gotten stabbed in prison yet? I don't like know, a man. A couple more times. Yeah. If they're going to do Shelvin, they got to do him too. Come on. She got a lot of shit going on, man. Like, she had a lot of shit going on, man. Now, I feel bad because I kind of clowned her about her mental health at the Olympics. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was like, man, bitch, man, because I was tired of all that mental health stuff at that time, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm tired of all that stuff. an excuse more often than not. Whatever it's a valid reason. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was tired of it, man. I'm sorry, man. I, I thought it was more about uh, they wouldn't allow her to have the uh, Adderall that she was taking, which didn't allow her to be focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been that too. So you got that too going on. Damn, that's crazy. I was trying to get two and a half, ended up doing one and a half, which was definitely not my best work. 
just got a little bit lost in the air, um, which is really unfortunate, especially to have. A- That's why she felt lost in the air because she didn't have the Adderall. I was on Ritalin for a long time because of my ADD. I didn't, I didn't have that um, effect where I needed it. You know, say it would always make me sleepy, but I do know people who have the ADD and stuff, and they need that. They need the drug. I used weed, but they used the, they needed um, their drugs, just like anybody else like need their drugs or whatever they got going on. So she's doing this, and she's flying through the air, and she only ever did it off of Adderall. Yeah, because listen, man, when you up in the air like that, man. <laughs> You got to be focused, Jack. Super focused. Lost in the air, um, which is really unfortunate, especially to have a score like that go up there for the team. I was like, I think the girls need to do the rest of the competition without me. And they were like, I promise you, you're fine. We watched you warm up. And I said, no, I know I'm going to be fine, but I can't risk a medal for the team. So... I need to call it. I'll usually persevere and push through things, but not to cost the team a medal. So they were like, okay. I love you guys. She, she sounds like a white girl, you know? I love you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why we have teammates, because if somebody's feeling down, you have to step up, and they did just that. I don't think of Adderall as a performing enhancing drug, because it just allows you to perform how people normally normal people because if you don't got add you can't understand man it like also you dehydrates you focus oh yeah yeah definitely it does i i took adderall for like a week but i i i, I didn't have a prescription that's why i only took it for like a week i was buying them from this guy um it does it does dehydrate you but um, <laughs> yeah it was but but, but it, 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 it makes you focus though it does make you focus like like when I was taking the Adderall for that week, man, like I had insane focus. The only other time I had focus like that was when I fasted for seven days. It was like the, the insane focus. And I'm like, if everybody um focuses like that normally, yikes, man, you don't know how much advantage you got, man. But but the question is accurate. The question is, did you not serve any porn in those seven days also? Did I not have to do what? Did, did you serve porn or did you stay away from porn? Oh, that's I days. can't remember. I can't remember, man. I can't remember. Convenient. Probably, yeah, I 